Happy New Year! It's lovely to be back. We've had a bit of a short break over Christmas, which reminds me I never got to wish you Merry Christmas and I never got to thank you for coming back time and time again to watch my tutorial videos. So thank you very much. It really does mean a lot to me that you come back. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do hit that notification bell, which will notify you every time I upload a new tutorial. And please comment in the box below. It helps other people find the videos and it shows YouTube that you're interested in the content that I'm producing. Now it is New Year or almost New Year. It will definitely be New Year by the time you see this video. So I'm going to make an arrangement suitable for your New Year's Eve table or maybe your New Year's Day table or anything you want to use it for for the rest of the year. I've got some gorgeous little, well they're not little, they're quite a nice size, glass bauble. It's this really pretty ombre shade. Coppers, there's um, a sort of dark orangey pink in there, grey tones, a little bit of gold as well. This one has a lot more grey. And I collected these just before Christmas from one of the local garden centres here in the UK. It's called Dobby's. It was Wyvale. And I paid 39 pence for them. They were originally 3 99 What a bargain. I originally bought them to go on my Christmas tree. Uh, but I've decided that I'm going to use these as a little bit of a theme for a Christmas, not a Christmas, a New Year's arrangement. And they happen to complement these fabulous feathers, which I might have used once before, but the colour tones work so well together. I thought they would be really perfect to create a fabulous arrangement. These have come from a florist supplies and I will link everything in the description box below. So in my bowl, I have five of these glass baubles. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use all five just move them to one side they're quite heavy and I probably would have glued a kebab stick or some wire onto the end but because I want to use them again on my Christmas tree I'm going to leave the attachment on the top so I can reuse them at a later date now my container is just an ordinary fruit bowl that I've bought in from the house. This normally sits in my kitchen and I decided to use it because I thought the grey tones were going to work quite well on the outside. You won't see the pattern centre when I finish but it's really um, just a circular bowl. You might have a casserole dish in the house. It could be a trifle bowl or a salad bowl that you might have. Fairly inexpensive. I think this is from Sainsbury's originally, but it's going to work really well for the type of design I'm going to do today. Now I'm going to be using floral foam, but you could quite easily create this design with wire mesh or chicken wire at the base if you want to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. I have left here in the workroom quite a lot of off cuts of floral foam of different sizes. So I've decided that I will utilize these into the center of my bowl. Now there's no technical way of doing this. I just want to fill the bowl with a, as much floral foam as I can or wire mesh if you decide to use that. As commercial florists, we often end up with small little off cuts and um, this is a great way of utilizing those and making sure that nothing is wasted. So you see there, I filled the bowl and I've gone quite flat and the reason for that is that this is going to be a low down grouped arrangement, very textural, ideal for a centre of a table because you'll be looking down on it rather than looking up at it. And it's going to be all round, so you'll be able to see it from all directions. Now my first material that I've got, and this has been collected locally, um, this is Weeping Willow. You can see how those gorgeous strands dangle down beautifully, nice and heavy and very weighted to get that nice shape that we see on the um, willow trees. And what I'm going to do is sort of bind it together a little bit like this to create almost a sort of rustic collar around the outside of my arrangement. So I've just wrapped a little bit of florist wire around this end. If I just hold it up there against the wall, you'll be able to see I've wrapped a little bit of florist wire around the base just really to hold some of that willow together so that I can get 
the shape started and what I'm going to do is wrap it around I don't want it too tight I want it fairly loose so that it looks a little bit more free-flowing and it doesn't matter if some of these little willow ends drape forward and what I'll do at the end is use another wire to hold the ends of the willow in place and for that I'm going to use a florist gauge wire this is a 71 gauge wire so it's a fairly flexible size and I'm going to hold some of the willow in place now it's not going to hold it all a few pieces will fling back out again but we're almost working adding little bits in at a time and as I add some more material it will hold in the first segments you could wrap it round at the very beginning and create like a big long sausage but this is the method that I enjoy doing because I think you get a softer and looser feel to it so we'll just pin those in there now I've gone all the way around you can see it's a lot heavier on this side here so I need to add some more of the willow to thicken out this area here and it almost looks like a little nest has formed so this would be a great one for the springtime Now you see I've gone all the way around I've tried to make it fairly even I'm not too concerned about the little bits of willow that are spilling over the edge of my container I think that works well in giving it quite a natural loose textured look if you want it neater you can always pin in more of the overspill but I think that looks really nice so that's the outline a collar or a structure around the outside nicely attached to my floral foam and now I'm going to add the baubles now I don't want to make that very symmetrical pattern I don't want to go for one in the middle and then a few either side but what I am going to do is use a little circular hook that's on the bottom to attach the bauble to my oasis so I can push that down into the foam and I'm really looking for a fairly random shape now I've got five baubles I have got more in the bag should I need them but I'm hoping that five is going to be suitable I'm going to slightly move that one over I don't want that very matching symmetrical design where everything is very evenly placed almost as if I've measured it with a ruler now I have raised the camera angle slightly so you're looking down more at a better angle so hopefully you can see how this comes together now I've placed the five larger baubles I've started with the larger material first to get those spaced out within the design and I've tried to pick colors that blend really well with those baubles and my first flower choice is going to be a gerbera which is a sort of champagne color goes quite well really with the new year's celebration the center is a pinky shade so it really links nicely with the color on my baubles and again I'm starting with the next larger size of my materials baubles first and now I'm going in with the gerbera and the trick with this type of design is that you pick round flowers so gerbera carnations roses you really need to avoid spray carnations because they're small chrysanthemums are okay spray chrysanthemums you really need to avoid anything that's very small large flowers single flowers are the best for this particular design and what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them I'm going to have single flowers groups of two and groups of three if I have enough space to get a group of three flowers together and I'm just really going to spread out the color so it's fairly evenly distributed most of the flower heads are a fairly similar height so that we create almost like a dome shape effect it's uh, what we call a Beesermeyer style 
And the heads for this are all pointing up towards the sky. So this is what we call parallel rather than a radial style where everything comes from a center point. So we have a group of three and then a group of two. And to bring some color over onto this opposite side, I'm gonna add in one gerbera there on its own. And these are more sort of international and European style of arranging rather than those very traditional British proportions where we equally balance everything out on either side. So that's my first choice of flower. Now I'm going to go with a slightly darker shade and I chose um, the nearest colour rose I could get to the baubles. Now the baubles are a sort of burgundy pink tone and this was the closest colour I could get that I felt was going to give a nice colour blend with those baubles. It's probably a bit darker than I would like to have used but the linking colour is still going to work really well. So we're going to do those same groupings. Place your flowers in so the head is facing the ceiling in that parallel style, close together so they're group creating those little pockets of colour. We're going to have one slightly on its own there not dead in the center because then you end up you have one flower very dominant in the middle which is a quite a traditional way of arranging so i've gone a little bit off center and i'm going to make that a group of three and for this style of arranging you can use supermarket flowers you can use plants succulents work really well in this type of design but grouping them together is what we're aiming to achieve rather than spreading them out in that very traditional manner. Now I'm going to bring some of that pink, just one single rose this time over onto this side here. The colour needs to be fairly evenly balanced but it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical on both sides. So to connect with the grey tones that are in those baubles I've got some of this um, very interesting material. For me here in the UK this is an imported material. This is called Brunei Albiflora and it's a little seed head, beautifully coloured, a lovely grey tone and this is going to work really well now to pick up on the grey tones that are in my arrangement. I don't want to spread them apart, I need to group them together so we've still got that more modern sort of appearance to the arrangement and I'm going to distribute the colour as best I can. So by adding that willow frame around the outside I've covered my floral foam so it's I've done a practical job but it is of course very attractive so it's got a really nice aesthetic look as well. So a couple more of these grey albiflora and you'll see now that if I just hold that bauble there you can see how all the colours hopefully are blending in together and those pretty little baubles are clutched up in amongst all the other flowers and they make a really interesting texture and different shape within the arrangement. Now before I add the feathers I'm going to add in some of this dyed eucalyptus. This is almost a sort of copper colour and um, again I've chosen it because it's a nice link colour with my baubles. This one is a painted eucalyptus so this is done prior to us buying it. This comes from the wholesalers and it lasts really well. It's a great one to use if you want to introduce an unusual colour. It comes in coppers, reds, you can get bronzes, golds and silver. And it's one we use a lot at Christmas time. But if you're celebrating maybe an anniversary and you wanted to bring in a particular colour for the anniversary then this would be a great one for you to choose. And I'm going to do exactly the same and grouping it together so we get those little pockets of colour and texture. But I'm trying now to make sure that all my floral foam is covered. Today I've used florist material, so these have come from my local supplier. But everything that's in here, maybe apart from these little seed heads, these little berries, everything you would be able to get from your local supermarket. You could use several bunches of roses in different colours. You could use carnations. And if you're growing material in the garden, then just choose things that have got a lovely round head to it. That's the trick really with this type of design. 
hydrangeas would be magnificent if it's the autumn time that when you're watching this tutorial. Tulips are fantastic if it's in the spring and in the summer there will be an abundance with sort of peonies, garden roses. If you're in the spring you might have ranunculus in the garden as well or you might be able to get those in your lo local supermarket. Mm. So this is one that doesn't use a huge amount of flowers but does make quite a statement piece in the design. I'm just going to tilt that forward for you to see how it's come together. And now what I'm going to do with the feathers is add them to the outside of the arrangement. If I can, I'm going to thread them in with that willow structure that I created right at the very beginning. Now I'm going to weave these just around the outside. It's going to help draw the colour out from the centre. It's going to give me a lovely link with the inside of the design to the outside. I don't want to make it too formal again, so I don't want it very matchy-matchy with everything facing in the same direction. It's almost adding some texture and some colour towards the outside. Now, just as I'm adding these feathers into the outside, this is a really good time for me to wish you all a happy new year. I'm hoping to use this on my dining table for my new year's lunch. I think it's going to work really well with the colours I have at home. If you're interested in participating in one of the online courses, you need to be quick because there's one that starts on the 3rd of January and there are lots of options for you depending on what type, what part of the world you're in. So you can have the recorded version or you can join me live for the lesson. It runs twice a day, 1 o'clock in the afternoon and 7 o'clock in the evening. And this one is called the Winter Collection. So if you pop onto the website, I'll put all the links below. It's still a chance to join. So I think we're done. It's going to look much better when I show you a picture from the overhead camera but we'll just tilt that forward for you to see. Quite an unusual looking arrangement that is really quite simple to recreate at home with just some simple supermarket flowers or with some florist bought flowers like I've got here today. You don't have to have the accessories, just use more flowers if you can't get hold of the baubles. And as ever, thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year to you all and we'll see you all again very soon. So bye for now. Oh,